Where's it at? Oh, there it is. I'm just oh, learning this thing. Top button, I don't have one of these. I need to get one now. I'm it's just learning. Just the man of guy. There's one on the back, too. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right, you, you send me uh, this video, okay? So that I can put it. And then oh, I... Cool. All right, my name's Alan. I'm a born again Christian. I'm up here with my sign. It says, ask me why you deserve hell. And on the other side it says, turn from sin and follow Jesus. Turn from sin and follow Jesus. Ask me why you deserve hell. Does anybody want to ask me why you deserve hell? Well, the reason Jesus Christ went to a cross it's because of sin. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So sin earns you wages. Those wages are death. What kind of death are we talking about? Everybody dies. That's not the exact death they're going to earn. What it's talking about there is an eternal death, an eternal damnation. When you're separated from God, that place torment, a place called hell. The Bible calls it hell. H-E-L-L. -L. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Bible contrasts death with eternal life. You have an eternal soul. Your soul will live on forever in either heaven or hell. And it's up to you to choose where you want to go. sex out of marriage. Let's face it. You know you've sinned against God. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I ask people often two questions. The first one is, do you believe that God loves you? And almost everybody will say, yeah, God loves me. God loves me. And that is true. God does love you. You are created by God. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. That's always true. Yes, God loves you. The second question I ask is, do you believe that you deserve to go to hell? Very few people will say, yes, I believe I deserve to go to hell. The reason is because they're not saved yet. They're not born again yet. Jesus Christ came into the world to save the sinner. What does Jesus Christ save you from? He saves you from that place called hell. And you need Jesus Christ because you have sinned. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's a fact. You know you lied at least once in your life. Lying is a sin. It's breaking God's law. You know maybe you've stolen something. It doesn't matter how small. If you stole something, you're a thief, and that is sin. Thou shalt not steal, the Bible says. Both God's law, stealing, lying. That's just two of the Ten Commandments. There's more than Ten Commandments in the Bible. There's many commandments and ordinances and exhortations to righteousness in the Bible. But you need to know that you are a sinner. The Bible says in John chapter 3, that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And whosoever believes in Him, believeth in Him, whosoever believes in Him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then it goes on to say, For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Again, saved. Saved from what? Saved from hell. If you believe in Jesus. And then it says, He that believeth on Him is not condemned. But, 
But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. This is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness. People love darkness. In fact, a lot of sin happens at night. Yeah, you think you're hiding from people, you're in a dark bar, you're hiding from God and from maybe all these people that you're worried about seeing you in there and doing that, what you're doing. You can't hide from God though. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. You're guilty. You deserve hell, sinner. This is step one to being saved. God wants to save you. And he's gone to the ultimate measure to save you. God, the creator of the universe, put on human flesh. He was born of a virgin, married. He lived a life pure and holy. He never said. And then he went to a Roman cross willingly as an innocent man. But he's also fully God, fully man and fully God. God shed his blood on the cross because he knows that he wanted to save you. He knew you were going to sin and that you were going to need him. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Is he your Lord? That's the question. If he's your Lord and Savior, that means your sins can be forgiven, they can be blotted out, you can be saved from hell and from that sin by the power of his grace. The grace of God has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. God's grace is not a license to sin. When you become a Christian, you'll be born again. That means the old is past, the new is come, you become a new creature in Christ Jesus. 24 years ago, I came to Jesus Christ broken as a sinner. I, I realized I deserved to go to hell. I was on my way to hell and I was condemned already. I knew it. Stop following the devil. I, I came to, to God as a sinner. And I, I was convicted, I was under that conviction. I realized that if I continued on and I died, I'd go to hell. And that was the time when I sat down on my knees and I cried out to God. I said, have mercy on me, Lord, a sinner. Be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me, Father. Come into my life. Change me. Help me, Lord. Save me. That's all you got to do. You have to repentance in your heart. You're willing to change your mind and agree with the Bible and, and understand that you're condemned, you're, you're guilty, you've sinned against a God. You can't save yourself because, you know, the Bible says there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You need to be saved from hell and from your sin.